Dear students, welcome to part 1 tutorial of discrete mathematics. I am Dr. K. Anita. In this part 1 tutorial, we are going to discuss about tautological proof by using laws of algebra. These are the basic laws of algebra. First one, idempotent law. Idempotent law gives the conjunction and disjunction between the same statement. P and P equals P. P or P is P. In identity law and dominant law, gives the conjunction and disjunction between the truth values. In identity law, P or F is P, P and T is P. In dominant law, P or T is T. In identity law, statement will be the answer, whereas in dominant law, truth value will be the answer. Complement law gives the conjunction and disjunction between the statement and its negation part. P or negation P is false. P and negation P is false. P or negation P is true. Commutative law P and Q equals Q and P similarly for R. Associative law P or Q or R is P or Q or R. Just uh, replacing the position of the statements. Distributive law. The basic concept behind distributive law is multiplication. P or Q and R equals P or Q and P or R. That is P and Q or P and R. Next one is absorption law. P or P and Q is P. P and P or Q is P. Next one, De Morgan's law. This is the most important law. Negation of P or Q is negation P and negation Q. Negation of P and Q is negation P or negation Q. Negation symbol changes the OR operator to AND, AND operator to OR. Double negation law. Double negation of P is P, the same statement. Next, equivalence. P implies Q, that is if P then Q which equals negation P or Q. We are using this result frequently. By using these laws of algebra we will prove the some implications. First one most important question show that negation P and negation Q and R or Q and R or P and R equals R. That is, we have to prove that the simplification of left hand side implies R. The answer will be R. So, let me write derivation and reason, valid reason for this derivation. So negation P, negation Q and R, I am taking the given statement P and R given. So here we can use associative law because inside the bracket, outside the bracket contains the same operator. Negation P and negation Q and R. Here we can use distributive law since and or is common. Q or P and R. Now we have to write the reason here. Here we have applied associative law and here we have applied distributive law. So I am writing here associative and distributive. Law. 
next step here we can use de morgan's law which is nothing but negation of p or q since de morgan's law changes and to or or to and and or or here also we can write p or q by commutative law so in this step we have used two rules de morgan's law and commutative law de morgan's commutative next one in this step and or is common in both the expression so we can consider and or as the common term which is nothing but distributive law negation of p or q or p or q and or this is distributive law let me consider p or q as some yes so negation of p or q is nothing but yes as per our assumption or yes and or so negation yes or yes is nothing but negation yes or yes nothing but complement law p or negation p which is true by complement law negation yes or s is true and or complement law next true and or true and or the same statement by identity law true and or is the same statement by identity law so we have proved hence the proof that's all so by using these laws of algebra we can give valid proof for any type of implications or expressions let me give another example show that the formula q or p and negation q or negation p and negation q is a tautology our aim is the simplification of this expression will be true that is true t true is nothing but tautology so derivation reason given statement q or p and negation q or negation p and negation q given here we can apply distributive law q or p and q or negation q or here also we can use de morgan's law negation of p or q so here we have applied distributive law here we have applied de morgan's law so write it as reason distributive de morgan's q or p and 
by complement law q or negation q is true t or negation of p or q complement law next step the statement and truth value becomes the statement when we are using when you are using identity law so the statement and t becomes the statement by identity law or negation of p or q identity law so here we can use commutative law p or q or negation of p or q commutative law next step we can take p or q as some yes p or q as some yes so the above expression becomes yes or negation yes so by complement law yes or negation yes is nothing but t that is tautology complement law hence the proof